Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can gain that kind of yardage against a defense that's really kind of geared to stop that play, your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front, and the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Now Prescott, wide open, Amari Cooper. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And down to the 36-yard line here. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Elliott running right. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 14 yards there at a first down. If you make the stop there, maybe you hold them to three on this opening drive. They didn't get the stop. Yeah, new set of downs now. Now you're worried about, just as you pointed out, not just giving up three, possibly giving up six. Let's see what they decide to do here because they've got to change up what they have been doing. It hasn't been working. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second and short yardage to start things out. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this one down inside the five to the three. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. I like the call. Inside the red zone, running the toss, 
Why? They want to get to the edges. They want to see if guys who don't normally make a lot of tackles are willing to actually do that. That usually means the guy's at the cornerback position. He'll get it up the middle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that is going to set up third and goal. Here's Elliott. Four yards, that gets him close to the goal line, but it also brings up a fourth and goal. Brandon, I know what I would do in this situation. You're on the road. It's the opening drive. You've gotten all the way down here. I would go for it. Sneak, it's Prescott, and he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Dak Prescott taking it in. And the Cowboys take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Graff will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he's able to hold on to the football. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. It'll be a gain of two, and speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to the City of Angels after this timeout. And boy, down a touchdown already, but they're going to line up to go for it on their side of the field. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. And now the Rams are going to halt things as they want a timeout. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll try the right side with Elliott. <laughs> And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Dante Fowler in on the stop. are going to go ahead and take another timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And no, it doesn't get there. 
Hits the crossbar, bounces back out. He had it on line, but it comes up about a rotation short. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and ten. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. To throw is gone. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Now it's gone off the bootleg. That's caught at the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a big 32-yard play on third. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of one, and it'll be third down. Goff now looking to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Looking for Woods that time. And out now come the Cowboys. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So now here are the Rams as their offense comes back out. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. They go play action here on first down. We got a man over the middle. It's Woods. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find... Another carry now for Gurley. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. Shotgun snap for gone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown Rams. Robert Woods, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Rams are an extra.
a point away from tying up this football game. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Wow, that play got shut down in a hurry. As soon as the snap came, you can see defensively they were just closing in. That was going nowhere. Yeah, you count on your offensive line to give you a little bit of space, a little bit of time so you can make a move. There was none there for him. 23 yards on the play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to take this one across midfield and into Ram territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. The tackle there by LaMarcus Joyner. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. Third and short yardage. Prescott. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decide to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. Now Prescott on fourth down. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Back now in Los Angeles. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. First down, Prescott. And pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Nikel Roby Coleman. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie game. Right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. <laughs> C.J. Anderson in the game. He gets it here. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, 
you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. Room to run past midfield. And he'll cut it out to the sideline. And down to the 19-yard line. A big run there by Gurley. 43 yards on the ground. So Gurley gashes the defense, and a lot of people say, do you take running backs early first round? Do you want them that high? Surely you're happy you took Todd Gurley that early. Without a doubt, Dr. Seuss. I love the way that that got done by you, but even better, it's fun to watch Todd Gurley run the football. He is electrifying. I want you to know that I did not mean to do that, by the way. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They'll try the air now with Gaul. He's still caught at the five. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. They come out here in the eye. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Gerald Everett taking it in from a yard out. And the Rams are in for six. Now Zerline on and the extra point. Zerline connects on the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Zerline out now to kick this one away. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the interception last time on the opponent's side of the field, certainly not what they wanted. Put it mildly, that is so frustrating because that signifies there's a drive going on. You're in good spot. Great play. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And a short gain down to about the 33. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll stick to the ground game with Gurley. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Listen, 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 listen. Here we go. 76. 76. Again, they run with Gurley. And he'll be taken down at the 34. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Zerline's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. A big one there. That gives them a little cushion and makes it a two-score game. Yeah, bled a little time off the clock, put some points on the board. It's not totally out of reach yet, but it has to feel pretty good to them right now because as a defender, you go out on the field and say, guess what? You can put some points on the board, but that won't beat us. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. The 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 75 yards. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. 
So down only two now. Still a chance to finagle their way into field goal range if they can get this onside kick. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. Did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. Now Anderson. And now running right through it. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And an alley to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 14 there, and that should be enough to get him home free. And that's the type of run that they're looking for because they'll need to continue to rely on him to move the sticks in this tight game in order to preserve this lead. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, at least he was able to break that initial contact or it could have been a loss. Yeah, give credit to the defensive player, though. What did he do? Made him slow down, slow up his feet, and allow the rest of the guys to get there to finish him off. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's able to get this inside the 10 now to the 9. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? You give your superstar. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Now Goff will lead the Rams up to go for two. Ohio! Ohio! Three down, three down. They'll try to run it here. And he finds his way into the end zone as the lead moves to 10. So they try to make it a two-score game with a conversion. It pays off. And they've looked at the situation, figured it out well. A two-score game in this situation, they've got to feel much better about where they are. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. It's what do they need out. to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win them the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. 26, 26. 26. One last shot now for Prescott. And that's caught for the additional two points. It'll only matter to the final score line, and that is the final act of this game. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park in L.A.